Now we continue our series, Small But Strong, about children battling medical odds and the community helping them in their fight. Tonight we introduce you to a girl from Warren living with an incredibly rare genetic disorder. Because of her diagnosis, school and learning are especially hard, but something magical happens when she gets in front of a piano. This is Emma's story. Remember the left hand this time has the F, that's right. Little fingers tickling the keys. Well done, Emma. That was awesome. For nine year old Emma Gray, music is medicine. Wow, Emma, that's awesome. Music just makes her come alive. She likes playing music, she likes listening to music, she loves dancing. Together again. Awesome. It makes it so much, I don't know, it's easy for her. It just comes to her. And a lot of things don't come easy. A lot of things don't come easy, yeah. Emma was diagnosed at 20 months with Wiedemann-Steiner syndrome, a rare genetic disorder. I was frightened. I mean, when she was diagnosed, there were less than 20 in the world. Like any other parent, I just wondered, like, what does this mean for, for her? I don't get home until after midnight. Oh my god. I know. Wiedemann-Steiner can cause developmental delays, unusual facial features, short stature, decreased muscle tone, feeding, and digestion issues. In fact, doctors told Emma's parents that she'd likely need a feeding tube her whole life. Because, like, I feel like I can be a hero. It's just one of the many ways she continues to prove them wrong. But Mom Shannon admits school is hard, and Emma's starting to realize that she's different from the other kids. She finds reading to be difficult. She finds math to be difficult. Paying attention is nearly impossible. She knows that it's one of the reasons we see as many doctors as we do and it's one of the reasons why, you know, Daddy and I tell her not to run as much because her balance is terrible and she gets hurt. Can you show me what you do on the piano? I heard you're really, really good. But when it comes to piano, Emma shines. Awesome job. Yeah. Uh, high five. That was really good. Nice job, Emma. That's right. Her parents tell me she loves playing music. As much as she loves helping others. She gives 100%. She wants to help everybody and anybody. She wants to be a firefighter, just like Daddy. Her determination has Mom and Dad convinced she won't let anything stop her. I, I think the sky's the limit for her. I really and truly do. Because Emma, that means you're strong, is small but strong. Emma has had over 10 surgeries in her life, including on her back, her eyes, and ear surgery. She gets physical, occupational, and speech therapy on a regular basis. Her parents tell me they know of only one other child in Rhode Island with the same diagnosis. It's going to be a challenge, too. They can't really talk to other families about it because they're not out there. It can be very lonely. Yep. Thankfully, they found a group on Facebook from all over the country and all over the world. Um, and because of that group, they feel really fortunate because they see that Emma is on the uh, lower side of the spectrum. She doesn't have as many of the effects of this syndrome as other children. Um, she's wonderful, though. And honestly, I think she could be a reporter. She kept grabbing the microphone. I don't know about firefighter. firefighter I think a reporter. <laughs> yeah. To learn more about Wienemann-Steiner syndrome, you can just head to WPRI.com.